Hello everybody, so I'm here with another video back on Jurassic World Evolution. Uh, I'm using a different microphone, the one on my headset, because it seemed to have worked quite well last time. Uh, so we're just going to continue uh, with this series, it'll probably be the main one on the channel now the SMP has ended. Okay then, so we have a plan for today. Um, now, the plan is to try and get this island to four stars, because that will allow us to unlock Isla Nubla, which is the sandbox mode, which you can have some fun in at some point. Um, now, as soon as we've managed to get up to four stars, which I think will just be getting some more dinosaurs, one of which has just been successfully incubated, um, and this will allow us to move on to the next island. So here we are. We have Draco Rex. We will skip that. And we will close that. We will then go over to the helicopter. And because all of these peasants have no clue how to uh, shoot, unlike me, who, as you will know, or as you will soon find out, uh, I'm much better than this silly AI person. Right. Let's have a look then. Okay, that was just a test shot. That's slightly too low. Got him. I think we probably only need the one. No, we need the two. Alright. Last, stop moving. Oh no, we did get him. I think we got him. Hold on. Yep, we got him. See, peasant, that's how you do it. Right, after sex, uh, successfully insulting. An offer just came our way. Don't let it sit too long. Successfully um, sedated that dinosaur. We will have to name him. Or well, technically her, they're all hers in this game. Uh, right, so we're just going to move there. Now, let's have a look. You can do with a bit more social and fairness, so we could probably do, do, do those two as Edmontosauruses. So if we just hop into the creation lab. We will incubate one of you. And then we will incubate a unmodified version of you. Right, with that underway, um... The next big thing is just try and get this rating up a bit. Should we have a look into the management? The facility could do better. We could do with a couple more dinosaurs and increase the welfare. So let's have a look. Welfare 31. Who's unhappy? You're fine, where's the other one? Uh oh, that is the other one. Um, that's the thing, the one that's missing managed to glitch through a fence once before. So you've got to try and work out. Oh, there he is. No, he's happy. You're happy? You're happy. Happy. Just having a look at the comfort. You know, they all seem to be quite happy. We'll go have a look at the Draco Rexes. Happy, happy, happy. Oh, it'll be because he hasn't drunk yet. Yeah. It'll be because of him. Right then. It looks like both those are doing okay. Let's get this guest count 
high enough for a long enough period of time. Uh, right, where are you? Draco Rex. There. Um, just because that popped up as soon as I was trying to name you, your name is now just content. Honestly, if you ever attempt to escape, I, I will have to just murder you. Um, I mean, we could probably put in some more things. I don't think I don't actually know what uh, buildings we've got. We've got clothes, fast food, and gifts. Well, we haven't got a restroom. It's quite funny. Alright, and that'll be some of the one of the Edmontosauruses. Oh, you're really, really small. Uh, we'll stick you... Uh... Actually, I want it to be sort of central. Stick the restaurant there. Uh, that'll be the other Edmontosaurus. We could probably put a, another hotel here. Uh, seeing as we've got quite a lot of money, I think we'll do that. So if we just spin you around, maybe right round. Uh, we need a substation. But in all honesty, that won't be a huge issue. Uh, if we just get the path. Connect you up. Uh, if we go into electricity or power. Uh, yeah, we'll Bosch a substation right there. And see if we can connect you up to the national grid. Yeah, do it right over where the helicopter takes off because that's a very clever idea. Um. Alright, and that'll help distribute power to the hotel, which will bring us more uh, people. I mean, this is a very huge enclosure for just the two dinosaurs, but power of hindsight's a wonderful thing. So we'll just open gate two up. See the uh, Struthiomimus is getting very confused as to what it is. And we will release... These two Edmontosauruses. So, I can't actually rename you until you've finished your intro sequence. You can see the uh, Shuthiamimus coming over to say hello. Oh! Somewhat melding inside of each other there. Which is very nice. Who is that? It's Mimu. I'll actually know who the. If you get an alpha truth in minus, I think they just sort of stick together. Alright, so. I don't know what the other Edmontosauruses are called, actually. So if we just do a quick spin over here, you've got Eddie, you've got Anomaly. Uh, okay, that was impressive. Monty. So you have Eddie Monty. Uh, Anomaly. Anomaly, if you haven't seen, was one that we had to release, and they said, after the brief anomaly, everything is fine. Uh, we'll probably want, just for my own peace of mind, for the future, the emergency shelter doesn't reach all the way around the park, so we will just. Slap one. In there. Beautiful. Uh, where's the other Edmontosaurus? There you are. Um, I don't know what's name this one. Um, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Um, Raymond. I was worried there for a minute. But you came through for the entertainment division. The contract to increase our attendance is closed, and that is your doing. Boom! 
Thank you very much. I've just named Dinosaur Raymond. Things that neither of us would really be that interested in. So let's have a look. Um, this is emergency shelter. Got a couple of hotels. Here's the thing. Let's have a look at this. Okay, satisfaction. Dinosaur visibility. So what's the lowest? Food and drink. So if we get in a food and drink place. Not fast food. We want some sort of posh restaurant. Uh, we don't have a posh restaurant. Open research. See, I don't think we can actually unlock the posh restaurant. Uh no. It's a shame. So then, we already have fast food place. Ah, it is very overcrowded. If we... Oh wow, that is still very crowded. If we put that up to 600. And we just bump up the price by one. So what I should probably do with reducing stuff I want. There we go. And then it's more... Okay. Wonderful. So now if we go back into rating, that's bumped up the stars actually. That has bumped up the stars. Let's have a look what's next. Uh, restrooms. Uh, let's go over to the toilets then. Here you are. Oh wow, yeah. Management new restrooms, whatever that is. So if we just bump up the staff, it's not quite done it. As high as we'd like. It's not bumped up the rating very well. Um, There's a new contract that I want you to consider. Yeah, I'm not fancying going to sell some triceratops. I don't think I'll do that. Uh, what's next? Transport fun. I don't know what to do, honestly. Um, to raise this dinosaur, dinosaur rating. Let's have a look. Scenery. Oh, just bang down some scenery. Oh, I never thought of that. All right then. Landscaping. Is this what it means, or is it like a dedicated scenery tab? Oh, there you go. Dedicated scenery tab. Um, rocks. I'm going to slap in a few rocks. And that should help to increase our... Dinosaur rating, just a little bit, just a few rocks dotted around. It doesn't appear to be helping that much, in all honesty, but. Eh, I don't really know what we could do. Otherwise, I, mean, I think that is going up, so if we can have a look over here. Senior bonus has gone up. Variety, I don't know. Welfare. Combat infamy could go up. We could do that. Scenery bonus. If we get a bit more scenery in, we might be able to... And we'll increase the visibility of the dinosaurs as well. So let's have a look. And have... Actually, if we grab a... It's an attraction, I think. Uh, ooh, storm defense station. That's going to be important later. Let's fire a look. There's nothing sort of over on this side. Although, in honesty, we could probably slap something here. Let me move it along as far as possible. And have a ridiculously long path. 
can't actually see what I'm doing. Sort of run down there. And then... Past the big scary dinosaurs. And then... Okay, we can't really just hook it in. Right. And getting another substation. And get pylons to run parallel with the path. Is that going to boost our rating much? Well, no, it's not been built yet. Uh, is that like a tree collection? Oh, there you go. Redwood Tree Group. Yeah, we'll just shove a few more random ones of these around. Now, how's it doing? Actually, I think we've gone down slightly. What's up, people? Restrooms rating has gone down. So is food and drink. If we head back over to the restrooms. I don't quite get it. Maybe I should build another one. It's not just building loads of random things is what makes people happy, yeah? If you just sort of bang that there. Is it hooked up by a path? Uh, looks like it's close enough to a path. Let's go back over to the food shop. Uh, maybe if I did... Oh, we're doing the best one. So maybe if we did um, another one... They did something different. A well, management view. Get some fun. Let's see how that changes things. Have a look in the clothes shop. Management view. I don't really know. We're only selling hats. Try shirts. You can sell them for 14. You know, that's got a load more people in. So now we need to hire more people. And gentlemen, a new toilet facility has been added for your comfort and convenience. Right, let's have a look. So again, that's got very busy. So how are you doing? You're still... I could probably just build more of those. Because that's, that's really bumped up the ratings. So I, if I build... An additional food drink place. Um, not close to that one. So if we say we have one over by this new building here. Uh, building constraints. Shove you in there. That should, in theory, finish off the rating. Okay, so the... Food place has been built. I think just because there's not many people here, it's not really attracting that. We just sort of. There we go, I'm making a bit of cash there. Uh, it hasn't boosted it that much. Um. Um. Right, I think it's because it's not in a very busy area. So if we went... Oh... Here we built something else. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really running out of ideas here. 
I mean, what if they had a clothes? No, it's the food. So if we built food near here, say, let's not irritate in this game. If we built it, say, oh, stop having building constraints. There. That's just destroyed a load of trees, but no worries, I'll we plant those. That's having to think about it, but it's not happy. All right. Come out come out of that. Thank you. Uh scenery. Build a nice big tree. Mm, do it in the Draco Rex's park, because they've not really got that much scenery. Snap that in there. Um, no, honestly, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. The science division is always okay. on the lookout for ways to improve our bottom line. Oh, well, that shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, there's not many people here, is there? Well, I've went for the dino dish. Not for that much, though. Sell it for, like, seven. Ladies and gentlemen, are you hungry or thirsty? Visit our new fast food restaurant. Yeah, there's a load of these new fast food restaurants, aren't there? Everybody's probably thinking, why? Oh, look at that. Look at that. If we go to Dino Feast, that's losing money now. Oh boy, I did not mean to do that. Set it to 19. And bump up the staff. Still not there. Still not quite there. Have a look here. I'm just shoving a couple of dinosaurs might work. That's our target for this episode. Welfare penalty. Who's unhappy? Who's unhappy? Is it Draco Rex? No. No, who's... It's probably one of these who are just hungry. Or something like that. Science requires not only experimentation, but observation. And with you, I like what I see. You can see Keep it's sort it of a lot more wild now with these random rocks I just placed down. Uh, that gate's still open. Probably an excellent thing to close. Alright, so if we just... Ooh. So if we just bring in, say, another Triceratops. And a Struthiomimus. He should up level. Okay, so we are going to release Struthiomimus and the Triceratops. Uh, I've run out of ways to say Sarah, so I'm just going to call it Tricky or something similar. Hold on, let's have a look. Uh, you have Ruth, uh, I think that was Uthi, Uthi, Ruth, and Mimu. Oh, you don't have one called Strat? Blimey. Hello, you, you're now called Strat. Enjoy yourself, Strat. Oh no, you got the Triceratops. Oh, look how close that rating is now. Uh, and journey is really just a series of small it will be cool. we've done it we've done it ladies steps. and gentlemen we've done it we've reached You've four stars one. all Step. it took was a triceratops so we're gonna call we're gonna call tricky simply because there we go we've got the transmission and as a plane irritatingly flies directly over my house uh, incredibly noisily. 
I'm not sure if you clear that. Hopefully not. Was a land of wonder. And we've got and it. Life. So a possible primal, instinctual, predatory, prehistoric. It's a sandbox. Life. There's no contracts or missions, and you get to Isla keep the progress legacy. from not everywhere else. Dream of a so we're going to stay here. But something altogether more fitting. And so a triceratops, who came into being simply for the reason to unlock the final island, won't actually get to be seen that much on the channel now. Right, so we'll close this gate. And it is time to sign off. Uh, I'm going to thank everybody who's watched very much for watching. This will most likely be the last episode on this island, particularly. We might come back here and now. Um, but we will be focusing now on the new island and advancing forward in the game. You can see there's more scenery around that's been put around. And there's a lot we, more we can do in the future. Um, so yeah, just for now. I will say goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.